In this video we will discuss the importance of the safety data sheets and Serena will demonstrate temperature calibration. Let's start with the safety data sheets. Safety data sheets, also referred to as SDSs, provide us with the information about chemicals we use. In your online training you will already have learned how to read an SDS. It contains health hazard information, precautions for use and safe handling guidelines. It will mention required personal protective equipment, also referred to as PPE. Serena is wearing chemically resistant clothing, eyewear and impervious gloves, as these were listed in the SDSs for the chemicals provided in this kit. Always read the SDSs and apply the recommended PPE whenever you use chemicals. For quality assurance purposes, we always complete a calibration record sheet whenever the instrument is calibrated. Calibration is a process we follow to ensure our equipment is measuring accurately. Before we start, Serena will show you the equipment needed to perform this calibration. We require a WP81 meter with a temperature and conductivity probe, a bowl and deionized water for triple rinsing of the probes, a water bath with certified thermometer, and an operating manual, safety data sheets and calibration record sheet. Serena is now going to record the date and instrument serial number on the top of the record sheet. She will also record the serial number of the certified thermometer. Serena is now going to connect the temperature and conductivity probe to the WP81 meter. The connection is checked and the instrument is turned on. The probe is submerged in the water bath with the certified thermometer and left to stabilise for a couple of minutes. Now Serena records the temperature of the certified thermometer and the temperature on the meter. To calibrate the meter, Serena follows the process as set out in the operating manual and completes the paperwork. The temperature calibration is now complete. In the next video, Serena will show you how to calibrate for conductivity.